All right, welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, and fellow fishing accomplices. Uh, this is a little bonus video from the last uh, video I posted. Uh, I didn't want it to be overdone or too long, so yeah. In this particular video, I decided to keep a fish that I never kept before. Um, this is a session where I was doing a fair amount of tog fishing because the fog was super thick. Again, this is in Connecticut where they have an open season in July and August, so uh, don't blow me up in the comments, not New York. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, doing this I got some bycatch, and one of the fish I caught was an oyster toadfish. And what you're about to see is uh, I'm, getting, I'm going to get a bite, and eventually it gets me hung up. And I do turn off the camera because obviously I don't need to waste uh, battery and you know hard drive space with me trying to get unstuck, but eventually I do get unstuck and I'm surprised to see that there's a fish in the end of the line and it turns out to be an oyster toadfish and I decide to keep it and, well, let's just see how it goes when we decide to cook it up. Hope you enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know if you ever kept one of these things. Um, I certainly could have cleaned it better. I was a little bit of a rush, but I'll let the footage speak for itself. Thanks for watching. hung up and then this guy was on and you know what I talk a big game I'm definitely keeping this one today <laughs> I've heard things about these fish and it's time we find out if they actually are good plus he's gut hooked so or gill hooked rather it's time to find out what the hype's about if they are indeed as delicious or terrible as people say the oyster toadfish. What a hideous creature. Poor man's monkfish. I don't know if anyone calls it that. I just decided to call it that. God, this thing's got some teeth. Time to find out. This thing is like growling. It's not like barking like a sea robin, but anyways, uh, this thing is decent size for this kind of fish. Almost 12 inches, so sure. Okay, tog oyster toadfish. This is an interesting day so far. None of this is what I was originally planning for. All I wanted to do was catch some sea bass, but as soon as we saw that they were out of season, that changed everything. All right, here we go, folks. First time ever cleaning and eventually eating an oyster toadfish. This thing is an abomination. Oh my God, it's like mush. Gross. <laughs> Whatever, we're going to figure something out. I'm in a little bit of a rush right now. Let's get some light in here. This thing like deflated. Probably should peel this thing, I don't know. But uh, we're just gonna pretend it's a normal fish. And just do one of these guys. Just see what kind of meat we can get off the side of this guy. It's very, very soft if I haven't made that clear. Yeah, we got some meat coming off. Not a lot, but something. I'm just going to cook this thing in butter, most likely. Can't like do a legitimate fish fry thing with this. It might be as good as it gets on this side. Doing a really crummy job. I'm in a little bit of a rush. I have to run an errand real quick. So let's just get some meat off this guy and get it in the fridge. And we'll clean this up a little bit later, not much. I get a little bit more off that. And peel the skin off later. Let's do the other side. Yeah, I really 
probably not doing a great job, but whatever. This thing is not easy to hold. I probably should have skinned this thing, but whatever. Skin is very tough too. Whatever, that's good enough. <laughs> This is too much of a pain in the butt. So yeah, we're gonna freeze this because it's extremely hot. We don't want to invite any unwanted guests. Um, I'm gonna clean that tog that I got. I'm gonna throw this in the fridge and a little later we will bring you back in to see the verdict. All right, so here we are back to the final portion of the catch, clean, cook oyster toadfish. Uh, originally, I was going to shoot this last night, the same day I got the fish, but I was just really tired and wiped out and hungry. Couldn't do it. It's the next day, though. It's probably better because now the fish has, has some time to sit in the fridge, and I wrapped it in paper towels to soak up any of the moisture. So here we are. Uh, I got back into the fish and cleaned it up a little bit. So if you look over here, this is what I did. Uh, I cut away bone. I cut away skin. And this skin is very tough, like very tough. I was shocked at how strong it was. Honestly, if you had some scissors on the boat, probably make it for some great strip bait because it would not break. Like I was like sawing it with a legit like steak knife or butcher knife, whatever, and it wouldn't come off. So I cut bone away, I cut skin away, and this is what's left from that 12 or so inch oyster toadfish. Doesn't look terrible, but again, considering the size of the fish, uh, I don't think this is a great yield. And even there's still some bone in here, so already not a great uh, start, but pretty firm. Uh, I'm very curious how this is going to cook up. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of bone in this one. I'll definitely watch out for that one. But very simple pre preparation. Just going to cook it in some butter, throw it on the pan, maybe put a little bit of salt and pepper on it, and that's going to be it. So without further ado, just clean it off. A little butter. Get that on the pan. Get it going. And letting the pan heat up. Nothing very fancy about this. Put a little more heat on that pan. Again, not a how to clean and eat an oyster toadfish. After that whole process, I think the best approach would probably be to skin one of these things because they're not very good for cleaning. It's kind of reminiscent of a catfish from what I remember of it, honestly. Uh, but we got to work with what we got. So we're going to get this pan going and afterwards we'll throw the fish on and let it do its thing. All right, oyster toadfish on the pan. Anything can happen, folks. I am not super confident. I mean, flavor-wise might be good, but there's just so much bones. In fact, this piece is just basically all bones. I'm gonna not cook that one. There's your oyster toadfish, folks. Let's let it go. We're gonna cover that for a bit, and we will come back when it is cooked through. Really doesn't look so bad, especially in the frying pan. I mean. Everything looks good when it's cooked in a bunch of butter, but obviously the size of the meat leaves something to be desired. But uh, let's get this on for another minute or so, and then we will give you our final verdict. All right, it is time, folks. Oyster toadfish, it's time to plate. Oop. Looks pretty good. Obviously, uh, <laughs> the amount leaves something to be desired, but hot off the pan. Look at that. Never tried this before. This is a 100% fresh take. Doing this in one take. Pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, there's different parts of the fish. Like that was probably from the thicker part of the fish, closer to the head and ribcage. That was very delicate. Kind of like a scallop almost. I don't know. Like, I actually think it was pretty tasty. You know, no aftertaste, very clean. 100% um, edible, doesn't taste bad. Um, the biggest issue, obviously, is not much yield, and those things don't get terribly big. But in terms of if you really want to try it and if it's good, 
go for it. Uh, there's got to be a better way to clean these things, though. I think maybe skinning them, you know, would probably be more effective and you get more meat. Probably cooking the bones, too, and just picking them out might be better. I don't know. I doubt you can grill this thing, but you might be able to fry it, saute, or bake the whole thing. But honestly, I think it's pretty tasty. Um, I would give this a, a solid 9. It's right there flavor-wise with, I don't know, <laughs> not the same texture as a fluke or a sea bass, but kind of the same taste uh, or tog. Just very soft and mild and, I don't know, not soft in a bad way. They're not mushy. Like, it holds together, but generally just pretty pleasant. So <laughs> I'm kind of surprised, but not really. Uh, definitely something to check out. If you're interested, by all means, if you ever catch one of these things, keep it and see what you think. Let me know what you think. If you have these things before, please let me know in the comments what you think about this. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, also let me know in the comments. Uh, just like and subscribe while you're here. And let me just, uh, it's hot out. As you know, big fans of the Nixie Seltzer uh, at our household, so check that out while you're there too. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day, and of course, goodbye from fishing.